Finally getting to the bottom of this sunken ship of mystery, the Mario crew finds Johnny, the ship's old captain, and instead of him being a ghost or a zombie that would make more sense due to the tragic fate of his ship, Johnny turns out to be a talking shark mariner, which means that instead of just lying around the place waiting for someone to get the star piece, he could have gone literally anywhere on the high seas and jacked some other asshat's boat. And this is why the denizens of sunken ships are always cursed undead. Hell, even Pirates of the Caribbean understood that rule. Come on, Square, get with the program. Anyway, the first part of the fight starts out pretty bog standard. Johnny gets four pirate as and they're easily dispatched with some AoE magic, and Johnny himself mainly wields high power melee or single target magic, which makes him an easy target for the multitude of attacks from the Mario crew. Johnny doesn't even have a ton of health to spare for this fight, so the first part should be a breeze to whisk through, but then there comes the second part where Square pulls another bullshittily difficult cliché, ability loss in boss fights. And by that, I mean that allies are permanently removed, and it was about as much fun as the final bosses in Kingdom Hearts. So yeah, the idea here is that Johnny was so impressed with the abilities of the Mario crew that he issued a one-on-one -on -one challenge to Mario, and everyone just accepted it as stone-cold fact. I call bacon-flavored baloney on this one, because when Kingdom Hearts did this, the ally characters were trapped outside magical boundaries or captured by the bad guys. But this is just the rest of the crew having respect for unwritten honor rules, which is just plain stupid, especially when Johnny powered himself up right before the second phase. The redeeming factor of the second phase is that while Johnny is powered up and gets a huge defense boost, he's not as hard to beat as those Kingdom Hearts bosses and is perfectly manageable as long as you come into the fight fully stocked on potions, since that's the only way to heal Mario on his own. Otherwise, it's the same fight, just with higher boss stats. And once Johnny is defeated, he respects the heroes enough to hand over the star piece without any further hassles, because that's how villains work, apparently. Well, at least in the anime, which is where it counts the most.